Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve. This is my wife, Lindsay. And today we're going to be reacting to something really interesting. Lindsay doesn't really know what we're going to be reacting to, except for what she can see on the screen. Obviously, it's about hovercrafts. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing about this hovercraft or this hovercraft service we're going to be looking at is that in the UK, in the Isle of Wight, they actually have a public hovercraft service, like, like a, a ferry. ferry, like a ferry. Yeah. And I always thought hovercrafts were fake. I didn't know they were a real thing. I don't know anything about hovercrafts, which is another reason I wanted to check this out. Someone recommended this to me and uh, I just thought this would be really interesting. I've seen hovercrafts like maybe in like a cartoon or something yeah, like that. That's, maybe that's why I thought they were fake. Right, right. But I've never seen a hovercraft in person. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I've never seen like a real hovercraft. Yeah. I don't even really know exactly how they work. But um, I just think this is something really interesting because I know that from what I understand, like a hovercraft, you know, it has the big fans on the back. I'm sure you can picture that. It has like the mm -hmm. big fans on the back and they like. It, Almost I, like a raft. Right, right, right. And like looks like it's like half blimp or like it's got air under the bottom. Like, yeah, like, like a raft. an inner tube kind of. Right. That's the mm -hmm. picture I have in my head and I don't know where that comes from. Which sounds kind of scary on the ocean. But I've been wanting to check out the Isle of Wight for some time, but I don't think we're really going to be seeing a lot of the Isle of Wight on this video because it's about the hovercraft. Supposedly, this person is going to be flying a modern hovercraft. And I guess by flying, they don't really mean flying. I mean, they're going to be on the water. Okay. But um, like I said, I don't know anything about it. We don't, you don't know anything about hovercrafts, but I think this would be really interesting. Um, but yeah, this is a public hovercraft service like a ferry. Okay. Supposedly. Well, so cool. Yeah. So... Don't know what to expect, guys, so we're just going to dive in. And by the way, I'm sure you can still hear we're still dealing with the laryngitis. I do not know how long this is going to last. I'm so ready for this to go because it's it's very aggravating because I I can't seem to get my voice to be full-bodied. So, it'll be okay. yeah, it'll be there. But, all right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and check out how to fly a modern hovercraft in the U.K. Yeah. So we're in South Sea. We're now going to go across to the island. I said we, you know, we are going to the Isle of Wight today. I said we would be, so we're going on the, on the hovercraft. And I, I sent in advance an email to Stephen behind me there. He's, he's hiding. There he is. <laughs> Who's the media guy for hover travel. And he's arranged for us to come around the barriers and get some decent footage of the hovercraft coming up and everything. So uh, absolutely fantastic. But it's due to arrive, I think, shortly, Stephen, isn't it now? About 20 past 12, should be here. It's going to be flying up the beach here, literally. <laughs> so this is the what? only, what do you say Steve, the, the only, it's the only year-round commercial passenger hovercraft service in the, in the world. world. Wow. I mean, that's the wow, that's why it was recommended. Year-round. This is the only year-round passenger service hovercraft, wait, I just said the only year-round passenger hovercraft service in the world. And so it's like a it's like a year round ferry to go from the Isle of Wight, I guess, to where do you say it was right now? South hey, South, South Sea. South Sea. I don't know where that is. Me but Maybe we'll have to look that up. I wonder why this would be more beneficial than just a ferry. It no looks fuel? fast. Do you it, not have fuel? Well, you, you rely probably have fuel people? unless they maybe maybe there's some. I mean, think about it. you're powering something, but like, I, I, it just looks fast. Look, look how fast that that little yeah, was coming. Look fast. And we get people coming from around the world to see it. So. Yeah. Is what? this is this uh, they made in the UK? Obviously, it's a, yeah. UK, it's a British invention, isn't it? Yeah, but, but they were made in Southampton. Oh, really? Right. And those ones I was talking to you about, they're yeah. actually being made even closer in Portchester. Oh, yeah. really? Just, just oh, I know exactly. Really I heard yeah. that yeah. the whole crap was a British invention. So, yeah, they're building those ones there. So yeah, it's it's, it's great because it was invented in Britain, yeah. made and manufactured, designed in Britain, and now it's operated Operating. and maintained in Britain. So that's cool. Mm. That's what we like. So, what do they run on then? Are they uh, diesel? Diesel, diesel yeah. Two, two oh. diesels. Two, yeah, okay. Um, man and, engines from Germany. And most of the power's in lifting it up, is it? Or, well, I, I, the split changes. Yeah. Okay. Because how they they they, they actually fly it—that would be a yeah. pilot question. So they yeah. fly. Once once you've got it lifted, yeah. And then the, the, the skirt, the rubber bit, the yeah. black bit, is yeah. holding that air in. Yeah. Then we've got no friction. Yeah. And it's very easy to move. Then what happens is the power. The fans move it. Yeah, the fans. So the lift fans. Are what? Yeah. Bit, so yeah. It really literally flies. Looking for thrust. They've got. That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. the oh, so they can the titles. Is why a hovercraft. They've got rudders to steer it, and then mm. they start moving along. Yeah. And the quote, <laughs> quotes from the pilots I get up. That it's like driving a Land Rover on ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the braking is increasing the friction. 
Right. So you, there is no brake. Is that yeah. is it, so? They reduce the hover, do they? Yeah, they reduce. They reduce the hover, yeah. so it's not li not as, yeah. as slippery, if you like. Exactly that. Yeah. So mm. I've done an emergency stop in one of these on the sea. Yeah, and it almost dropped yeah. there. Yeah. It just literally they take all the air it out. It sinks. Yeah. They, yeah. They've got vents that allow it to escape even quicker. So yeah. They cut oh. the fans and then they open these vents. Yeah. And it literally goes boom. and stops. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And it's it, buoyant anyway. The whole thing floats oh, really? without. Yeah. Yeah. It floats. It's like a boat. It's like an aluminium boat. Interesting. How many are there? Are there two? So it's like a boat With an plane, inner tube a boat plane. A fly. It's like a boat raft plane or something. Wow, that, I want to see that's it. That's wild. Okay. One, one in service at the moment. moment yeah. You can roughly see. Yeah. That it's, it's going to aim up. That's the centre line here. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be, you can roughly see where the, the, the wettest patch of it's going to come. Yeah, yeah, it's going to sit here. Oh, it comes it's up on land. land? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, not as loud as they used to be. What? It's quite loud, Zero yeah. five rules, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does the pilot know, that the pilot, the helmsman, pilot. is he a pilot? He's a pilot. Does he know we're going to be here he at all? He knows we're going to be here. Gotcha. Because we've got these yeah, on. yeah, we'll so it won't come as a surprise, <laughs> yeah. So it won't come as a surprise. There it is. Is it? Yeah, it's got to be. big. Look at the fans. Right. We actually run a blue light service for the NHS. So okay. The ambulance to us. Yeah. We get on the craft. There's nobody else on that craft. Hey. The stretch of patients wow. wheeled on. Wow. So it's an, kind of an it ambulance. It's the quickest way across the, yeah. it, by far, isn't it? We, we beat the air ambulance. Really? Like, we can go quicker than the yeah, air Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. What? So from hospital to hospital. Wow. Right. Here it comes, though. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Big old Union Jack on the front. Love yeah. it. That is so cool, man. Massive, I can't believe how big it is. Mm, yeah. it's really <laughs> and it comes Huge. up on the pavement. Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. Here it comes. Bird's eye view. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's insane. Wow. wow. All right, I want to look at this thing real quick. I am just in awe. <laughs> that's crazy. It can come up on the pavement. Dude, I would so ride this. Does it have wheels? I don't no, it don't have wheels. Well, then how do they get back out? Maybe they reverse the fan. Oh, the flow. And, and, and it pulls you instead of put. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying that probably makes sense. I mean, it could. I, I would imagine it had wheels. It wouldn't make sense. crazy. Are those people inside or are they just empty seats? I'm sure there's people. So I wonder what this is. Is that a uh, diesel tank? Nah, I can't. That don't, wouldn't make much sense. Look how big the fans are, though. Dude, this would be a blast to ride, to drive or to fly. Uh. Yeah. Would you like to ride in this? I mean, it would be okay. I mean, it'd be okay. I just don't like the ocean very much, so. Dude. But it, it would be, I mean, like. Dude, you're probably. I don't, on some I don't think this is the ocean. I think this is a sound. Still the ocean. Um, I don't know. But Fort White. I'm trying to picture where that's at. It's Isle of White. I mean, yeah. Isle of White is down like south. Oh. Okay. From what I understand. I, I was thinking north. But is it? I think. It's, I don't really know. I we'll have to look that. I believe it's down south. Um, but uh, down like down near the English Channel somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, let us know in the comments, guys. But we'll probably check that out. But this is really, really cool, man. That is, it's not what I pictured at all. No, this is this is this is insane. So this is like a ferry, but obviously you can't carry like cars and stuff on it. But wow, hovertravel.com. the power and it sinks. Oh, it's, it's, okay. There you go, guys. I promise you a hovercraft. <laughs> There's a hovercraft. Dude, that is so wild. Amazing, it's sinking down. So it is, it's like a boat yeah. plane on a raft what do, that, that deflates it itself. Because we like to that you can drive up onto yeah. concrete. Yeah. yeah, you would think that would <laughs> tear up the inner tube <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah I wonder what this made of. You'll hear a little light, high noise. Yeah. Did so the passengers come out the front then, did they? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, oh. You to come out the side. The side, that's right, yeah. I thought the passengers would come out that door right yeah. there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Catching those bats when they were originally done, you used to climb in through the front. That's right. The very first one. Yeah, yeah. Would have been that same. It time. was. I went on those yeah. real yeah. classic yeah, the ones. Hatch, the hatch at the front. Yeah, the yeah the front, that's, that's what right. I went yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the little hatch. Yeah. And then it was at the side near the rear, I think, was it? Yeah. 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 And yeah. then that's the latest one. So the old ones used to have like little chimneys that used to on the front. Right. So they, what, what's replaced that then? So those are called bow thrusters. Yeah. We actually had bow thrusters on the original design of this version. Right. And the pilots found that they didn't need them. Oh, so they just removed yeah, them. Yeah, they used to be for manoeuvrability. So obviously okay. you've got the, you've got the yeah, yeah. rudders and the things yeah. at the back. Which yeah. Did that, but they wanted extra bit of them. For and they don't need them. They don't need them. They're too skilled. Very good. Oh, wow. Dude, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, uh, to it completely deflates. So you have to have been responsible for a vessel out at sea for watches. Yeah. And then you come and train with us for three months. Oh. And there are very few. We only got, we got eight. Yeah. yeah. As we always say, and they love this, the pilots, to be fair. But there are more Top Gun pilots than there are hold pilots. <laughs> <laughs> the elite. The elite. The elite. The elite. Best of yeah. the best. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Best of the yeah. best. Yeah. <laughs> As they pull away, I'm going bullets. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Does he give it the other feel? The oh, I see <laughs> now. <laughs> the whole front opened up. We're, we're, we're limited in our space. Wow. Uh oh. Kings, um, Harbour Master and yeah. the Coast Guard. That's cool. crazy. These will go. I mean, this is 45 knots easily. It's fast, it. isn't it? Yeah. And it'll go quicker. What's the miles knots. an hour then? What's this? Because they're not small like, miles over, an hour. Over, over 50. Yeah. Over 50. 50 yeah. miles per hour? That's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing how easy access, isn't it? Yeah. On this new one. I don't really know, like, no, what boats and stuff normally it? travel, how fast they normally go. Yeah, hovercraft. Oh, wow. It's like oh, yeah. an airplane. Yeah, yeah. It does. Oh, yeah. It looks just like an airplane. Oh, yeah. It's big, isn't it? Two cars, yeah. Spacious, yeah. isn't it? Good. Wow. Yeah. I would yeah. so want to sit in a window seat. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, they're going on it. Yeah. Superb. Well, I think they're going to sit fly in it. So. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This would be so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Turn around. Your guess is good as mine. That is wild. Wow. This is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. This is better than the car ferry. It's smooth, isn't it? So smooth. Because it's on a cushion of air, isn't it? Yeah, a cushion of air flying. So they're just floating <laughs> above God. the water on a cushion of air. That yeah, is crazy. Yeah, it's just going around. John, John, vodka and money. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs. 10 minutes yeah. to the Isle of Wight. Well, considering there's not a ton of them, supposedly. 10 minutes to the Isle of Wight, and you want to go shopping, you literally could go yeah. over to Gun Wharf Keys. It's quicker than driving from where I live, Yeah. to be honest. Yeah, it's amazing. And I think if you um, if you live on the island, the amount you pay is cheaper than yeah, if you, no, yeah, you get a discount. You get a much yeah, discounted yeah. rate, isn't it? So, uh, mm -hmm. If you're in a small dinghy or a small sailboat, this just goes straight over you. Just crushes you. <laughs> That's the turn, just goes straight through everything. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon they could have wow. got the bikes in there, I reckon. There was room for the bikes in the middle there, wasn't there? And there's a ramp on it. Wait, where did all the people come from? Creeped them straight on. <laughs> oh, it's just them. There you go, up the beach. Oh my god. Wow. There's the other one. They've got two, two, uh, so now I guess they're at the port, uh, the Isle of Wight. Service in the winter. If they need to put another one on, now I guess they're at the Isle of Wight. And we're there, 10 minutes to the Isle of Wight. 10 minutes. It's not easy to get up, is it? Yeah, blank checks are always a good. But I won't be able to fit up here. Oh my goodness, that is tight. I can't get up, I can't get my knees up. Come you can do it. Wow. Yeah, I'll wait down here. The pilot's going to come out and give us a quick run through. So this is a standard marine radar. Yep. Turn that on for you. Can see, you can see ride pier head there. There's a man on the end of the pier. Yep. Um, so you've got your instruments. Oh my instruments, god, yeah. Which are a lot to learn. Um, yeah. Official display rather than being. That's left and right engine, is it? I yeah. guess the, the two. Yeah. Um, the M M A M, which I believe is owned by. Oh, Volkswagen. the two fans. Mm -hmm. They are 1,100 horsepower each. V12 wow. Twin turbo. I'll show you those in a minute. Yeah. So that's the left-hand engine. Uh, most important things on there really are the water temperature, oil pressure. That's the same for both. I can go into more depths to look at different things if I'm oh having a problem. Goodness. So what's that one? Sorry, Electronic the... chart display. Okay. Which is here. They've got the Isle of Wight here. Yeah. Uh, you've there. got Gill Kicker, Portsmouth Harbour, 
So is that all, all the way to Henning Island? And this tells you where we are. And, that's mm. and that tells GPS. you where I've been. Okay. A bit like a black box. These are my four ballast tanks. Yeah. So I can adjust the craft anywhere. Okay. I well, pulling. Oh wow! Water you can adjust oh, wow. the no, all different ways. There. There's water, right? Well, and that pumps it around the craft to. Oh, I do with this. Ah, oh, okay. Wherever I put that. Is as cool as this all is. There's so many like technologically moving parts. Oh, man, like yeah. how much could go wrong, you know? Like, yeah. It just seems like a lot you would have to keep up with and worry about. Is where yeah. the water is going. Oh wow. So if everybody gets on on a sunny day and they want to look out that side, they'll all wander over there, sit down and look out that side. But I can tell um, from the cameras downstairs, which are behind you, where they're sitting. Nice. The commuters like to sit in the front seats so that they're First on, first on, in their first, seat, first, first off. off. Yeah. Whereas day trippers will tend to go for the windows and people who aren't interested to sit at the back. Yeah, yeah. But I can see where they are before I leave. That's very important. Because if you lift up when you're trimmed very heavily by the stern, mm. then the craft will just, just drag. Just go that way, mm. it, so has, it has to be on an even keel. So you have to, before you set off, you check everyone's seated and adjust the ballast accordingly. Yeah, and then and as soon as I lift up, I'm adjusting again. adjusting again, again. Oh, a little wow. bit. Wow. Wow. Um, so we're, we're, we're continuously moving ballast around. If we're in, into a heavy sea, I might lift the bow slightly more than I normally would. That's so cool control. you have that kind of control yeah. in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That is so much more control than you have in a regular boat. Mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. better to be trimmed. Um, standards about a degree, half a degree by the stern. Right. Over here I've got my pumps, hydraulic pumps for the steering gear. Same as an aircraft. We steer with these pedals. Uh, okay, so that, that's the, Wait, the rudder, is it? That's right. how they that's steer? A bicycle. With their feet? If you want to turn what? right, you push right. Right. If you do that on a bicycle, you go left. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. And they're driving the eight rudders that you see there moving. Oh, up. I see them oh, moving. The oh, yeah, I can see it, yeah. I'll see that driving. Wow. That's interesting. Wow. System failures, I've got effectively eight different types. Yeah. Because I've got two sets of rudders. I've got a, a tiller that I can steer by or I can use pedals, so that makes it four, and then I've got a secondary system for both that makes it eight. Right. So there are eight possibilities of maintaining steering, which is right. yeah, yeah. a very necessary backup. Wow, I didn't realize you had adjustable pitch on the blades. That's really interesting. I guess you can try an asymmetric, yeah, you, know, you can yeah. have one going ahead and one going astern, so the craft will turn. This in would be a fun job. That's the only way to do it, isn't really it? This. <laughs> yeah, it would. And I'm wondering, though, how hard they have to work to recruit people because like if it's really you know it seems like a very niche my guess is with something this niche you're not just going to be able to go out and find hovercraft pilots anywhere That's what I'm saying. So how do they ensure they have enough they probably i'm guessing they probably would go to find people that are already been boat captains or maybe even airplane pilots, and then they train them to operate these. That would be my guess. Uh, they bring them into, and they ride along for a while and train somehow. Or, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe they got some sort of like school or something here. But supposedly there's not a lot of these, and I don't think there are. I mean, I've never even seen a hovercraft before. So, like, I, I can't imagine there's a ton of these. It's a very localized. Right. seems like, especially profession. for a, especially for like a, a, a fair, a public ferry service mm -hmm. like this, I, I would think it'd be very, like you said, very niche. So... I wonder. Drift. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, with bow thrusters, you could reverse them um, and then just power against yeah. them to turn it around almost to so Here we've got really other information that we don't necessarily yeah. use on the craft. Um, it's, it's direction, it's wind speed. Yeah. Um, engine start keys. The two oh gosh. Two drives monitors I just can't imagine that. Having the mental capacity um, to know all these functions and buttons. Yeah, I think it's like anything though, after Three a long time, years of doing this, yeah. it's just second nature. Bay, it would feel overwhelming at first though. One, yeah. Oh, absolutely, so as you're learning. When you're in, in motion going along, are you constantly correcting ballast? Are you constantly yes. adjusting the pitch on the blades? Yes. And, and so, steering. So it's almost like, it's really like a helicopter where you're constantly giving input to keep yeah. it headed in the right direction. Um, to be able to steer with your feet means both hands are free, yeah. and they need to be because there's so much You're constantly <laughs> going on, wow. ballasting and trimming and, yeah. and adjusting mm -hmm. on these panels, nav instruments. The, these are 
these are wander away, so oh, at night right. you'd have both of those on your knees. So what are they used for then? This is marine radar. Okay. It's detecting objects in the dark. Yeah. Mm. And this is where we are. Where I wonder if they operate at night. Like the route plan. I was just that's wondering that too. We follow. Right. So we put, we put, put in a route before we leave. Do they have the lights route, in the front? And yeah. that would show you I as motorway lines gonna, on there. Uh, and if you, yeah, if you mean, come off it, it will alarm. So you've got us so sticking on that. And it will tell you route. how to rectify it. Yeah. It'll give you a cross track error and bring it back on. Wow. That was incredible. That was really cool. Yeah, it really was. I want to go back and see the the. Wow, look at that thing, man! Like I said, this is my first time ever seeing a hovercraft like this. I've never, yeah, I've never known anything about hovercrafts really, except that they had those big fans on the back. Um, beyond that, I, I I never expected they had a ferry service mm -mm. with a hovercraft like this. No, but I would totally do this. This looks like a lot of fun, and it would be a really cool experience. And I could see the advantage if you lived locally there. Oh, absolutely! Of doing that versus driving. Well, you might not be able to drive. I mean. Well, you you probably at if least take a, a traditional ferry with your boat. Yeah. I mean, with your with your uh, with your car on a ferry, um, but I'm guessing that is much slower than this. This would be a very quick way to go from, I guess, is the Isle of Wight. I'm guessing that's an island. It's yeah. Isle of Wight. Mm -hmm. uh, so to go to the mainland would probably uh, this is probably a very quick way to do that compared yeah. to a ferry if you didn't need need your own car with you. Yeah. Um, but uh, I totally, I, I, we got to look into where the Isle of Wight is. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to do that now. Okay. You want to? Let's do that. All right, guys. So we got the Isle of Wight pulled up here. Where is it? Is that it? Yep. Yep. There it is. So he was at South Sea. Mm -hmm. So it must have been something like this right here. So, okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's a interesting. It's just a very small island mm -hmm. in the English Channel. Okay. Right off the southern coast. I thought it was in the south. I just wasn't exactly sure where it was. The time. We're going to check out the Isle of Wight at some point. But uh, guys, great video. Learned a lot. Uh, obviously, uh, had no idea there were, you know, like I said, public covercraft service. This is the only one this year round. Yeah. And it looks like they only have a couple of hovercrafts. But uh, definitely something I would en enjoy doing if I was mm -hmm. down the area. And... This is definitely an area we will visit at some point in the UK, so maybe we will go there. Cause, that would be really cool. I mean, we're definitely planning on coming out in this area at some point. Yeah. So um, definitely be a blast. I, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, but uh, you got anything you want to add before we go? Looks like it looks like a very, very complicated thing to fly, for sure. Oh, yeah, to be one But um, Yeah, guys. Would you call it a captain or a pilot? I think they call it a pilot. pilot and a yeah, I know. Let us know. Is that a pilot or a captain? I think it's a pilot. But also, guys, let us know in the comments if you've ever gone on this particular service. This is the only public hovercraft service year-round in the world. And it's probably one of just a few in general because mm -hmm. I don't think hovercrafts are really that popular. They don't seem to be. For some I know. So let us know if you've been on this service or if you've ever been on any other hovercrafts. How is it? It looks like it's smooth. It looks like it's a fast way to travel. Yeah. Um, and and definitely something I'd enjoy doing at some point. But uh, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover our British and Irish ancestry. Uh, I think my voice is worse today than it was yesterday for some reason. It just keeps on going back and forth. But uh, hopefully it'll get better in the next few days. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Till next time. Peace. Bye.